New research has revealed huge variations across England in the number of diabetes patients who have leg amputations. Figures out today show that patients in some areas were 10 times more likely to have potentially avoidable surgery. The charity Diabetes UK has described the variations as an outrage and is calling for quicker access to specialist care. The physiotherapist teaches you to go good leg, bad leg, good leg, bad leg. Four years ago, Barry Smith's left leg was amputated below the knee. His foot became infected after he trod on a rose thorn. Nerve damage from diabetes meant he didn't notice any pain for several weeks. He was devastated by the loss of his leg. I realised how stupid I'd been walking about with nothing on my feet, you know. But uh, I didn't realise then that I was going to lose my foot. Barry was treated in Portsmouth, where amputation rates are high. New research indicates huge disparities across England. When patients do have a foot problem, it's vital they get a quick referral to a specialist centre like this one here in Nottingham, where staff have all the skills to assess and treat the condition and avoid unnecessary amputations. Again. Okay. This foot care clinic has been running here for 30 years, but many hospitals still don't have specialist teams. Evidence suggests they can prevent amputations and save money. Foot disease is very complicated. There are lots of different factors which contribute to it. And a single professional hasn't necessarily got the skills to manage every aspect of it. The cost of the NHS of diabetes-related amputations has now reached £120 million. Ministers accept there are too many in some areas. They say they are reviewing services. Adam Brimelow, BBC News.